Hey everyone, First of T here. Thanks for checking out this YouTube channel. So I've now come to my second hole, which is a par four, it's 335 yards. So remember I'm working from the green backwards, so I've got two putts, and if I could hit three shots over 100 yards, I'm gonna be pretty close towards the green. Now, there's a bit of trouble down the right, if you can see that one. There is a hole over there, which gives us a bit of grace, but if you don't hit it well enough on that line, you're gonna be in some trouble. So I'm actually gonna aim left, now, I don't know if you can see this, in the distance is the green. It's a pretty straight hole, but it's a great big tree in front of the green. So that will definitely become an issue. And for me, if I hit a driver down there, I'm gonna get start to get stuck behind that tree if I hit it too straight. So what I've chosen here is my little seven wood, because again, we're trying to bake 90 here, not shoot a, a, a low 60 score. So I'm just gonna play my seven wood. I'm gonna aim left of the trouble, in fact, I'm actually going to change where I'm teeing up. I'm going to tee up more over this side to really hit away from that trouble rather than over that side where I'm hitting towards it. I like, I like this better. This suits my eye better. Okay. I, may, I feel like I'm aiming nice and left now. Nice and relaxed. That one's gone, an absolute peach right down the middle. I wasn't trying to put a lot of effort into the shot. I'm not trying to smash the ball down there as far as I can. I'm just making this nice smooth swing. So let's go and find that golf ball and then show you the next shot. Okay, so I've now arrived at my golf ball. I've just measured it out actually from the yardage on the fairway. And if you use a laser device or a GPS device, that, you know, that's gonna give you a clue of how far to go. I personally don't use them, but uh, I suppose I'm a little bit old school that way. So what I've got now is I've got 141 to the centre of the green. And uh, you could probably see there's a great big tree in the way. So that's quite a high canopy, uh, quite a large canopy. Just letting the guy go get out of the way down here. So I don't really want to... It's so tempting to go for the green from here uh, and try and select the club that will get you the right distance. But if I slightly miss hit it, and hit that canopy, my ball's gonna drop underneath and that's gonna to lead to a very difficult third shot. So all I've gotta do here really is I've got 140 yards to go. I need to do that in two shots to get it onto the green to think about the two putts that we're gonna take once we get there. So what I've done now is I've just chosen a nine iron. So there's quite a bit of danger on the left down here. There's a big pond down the left and there's a sneaky little bunker that hides over on the right hand side over there. So I'm gonna try and take those out of the equation. I'm just using a nine iron. I'm not trying to hit the green. I'm just gonna play a shot slightly to the right of the tree. So again, if you watch how much effort I put into this golf shot, Now I've actually hit that incredibly well, but um, that, that's come up short of the green. So what we'll do now is we'll walk up to where that's finished to show you the next shot. So this is where my golf ball has just finished. There's quite a downslope coming into this green and it looks like it's pitched on the downslope and kicked it towards the green, which has left me a relatively simple shot onto the green. So what I want to do now is get the, my main priority from here now is let's get this on the green and if it goes close fabulous but the first priority is let's get this on the green hopefully within the region of the hole. Now what I'm going to do from here is I've chosen a pitching wedge which has got a little bit of loft to lift it over this slight rise at the front of the green and then it's just going to roll out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my putting grip which I've probably showed you in some of the other videos. I'm going to take my putting grip. I'm going to make a putting action. So I'm not, and I'm going to allow the loft of the club to lift the ball. I'm not going to try and lift it. So, so often we see people when they're chipping in this situation, they'll lean back and try and help the ball up or worse, they'll get that little flick and then they've lost total control of the golf ball. So 
and taking my putting grip, standing nice and close to the ball, just backwards and forwards. So let's see if we can get this one onto the green. So that one's rolled out to probably five, six feet, something like that one, but it's, we've got it safely onto the green now. I've got a, a chance to make a four, which would be a nice par on this hole, but I'm definitely going to make no more than, than five. So don't forget we're working from the green backwards, two putts, three shots to get there. Let's work this one out. So I'm just going to go and finish this off. So I'm making the conscious decision to leave the flag in at all times from here. So this is now for my par putt. If it doesn't go in, I'm not going to be disappointed because we're looking to just make a, a bogey on each of the holes that we're playing. So there's no pressure now on me trying to hold this putt. So let's see what happens. So there's, we've just made a nice little four on that one. Stood over that putt there, I really just felt no pressure at all because I knew if I missed it, it didn't really matter. So, and because I'm now putting with freedom, uh, so my mind's not cluttered, the outcome, as you have just seen, so that's a nice healthy four on, the, on quite a tough par four, to be honest, but so it was a seven wood off the tee. I just played a little nine iron layup uh, and then chip and, and one putt. So let's go and play another hole. Okay, so I'm now on a hole. This is about 345 yards long. So it's not, it's not a massively long hole, but there's an awful lot of danger on this one. So there's out of bounds, very tight to the left, which goes up all the, up all the hole. And there's, there's some trees out to the right, but as we go a little bit too far over there, if I really block this one, then there's a great big lake over in, in that direction, which you, I could quite easily reach if I hit driver. So bearing in mind, I'm just trying to get the ball on the green in three shots. I'm not trying to get it there in two. So what I've done is I've chosen a, a club that I'm very happy with again, and I've, I've got a seven iron here. So my sole purpose from here is just to get this shot into play. Now, what I've chosen to do again is stand this side, so I've stood closer to the danger, and I'll hit slightly away from it, rather than standing the other side of the tee and hitting towards it. So I'm going in the other direction. So I've found my ball now on the right hand side of the fairway. I've got just over 200 yards to go. Now again, very tempting to pull a rescue club out of the bag or something along those lines and try and get this onto the green in one shot. But down the right hand side, you can't quite see from here, is a nice little pond ready to catch your golf ball. And again, anything just slightly left is out of bounds. So what I've done now is I've just chosen an, an eight iron uh, and I'm just going to make a swing towards the target. So some people might say, well, this is quite a boring way of, of breaking 90. But if you think of the definition of insanity, if you do the same thing and expect a different outcome, what we're doing here is we're really switching this up now. We're really thinking about how to break 90. So I'm just going to play a nice little eight iron towards the green. Now, I've hit that one. I haven't hit it particularly well. It's scooted off to the right, and I think we'll probably find that underneath a tree. Let's go and see what happens from that situation. Okay, so I've, I've come to my golf ball, and I'm stuck near a tree. I'm 60 to 65 yards from the green, and this, this tree is right in the line of where I want the golf ball to go. But you'll be pleased to know we've got a little hack from here. Hack being a life hack or a golf hack rather than actually hacking at the golf ball. So what I want to be able to do is swing freely and miss the tree, but I then want the golf ball to go in the direction of my target. 
So if I were to aim to the right, I could quite easily miss this tree. But if I hit the golf ball in that direction, I'm either gonna go into another tree or the, again, the little pond is just over here. So what I'm gonna do at setup, I'm going to close my club face and point it to the middle of the green. So my sole purpose from here is let's try and find the middle of the green. So I'm gonna aim right with my body so that my swing is not impeded by the tree, but I am actually going to close my club face. So that's now pointing at the middle of the green rather than out to the right. So I've actually, I'm gonna hit this with a shut club face. I don't need a full swing and I've just checked and I'm not gonna hit any of the branches but if I did aim straight, I'd be hitting a tree or the canopy of this one. So I'm aiming to the right so I can avoid it, but I'm pointing my club to the left so that it can go towards my target. And let's play this little shot. It's not, it doesn't need a lot of power, this one. Nice and simple. Sit there. That's just finished over the back of the green, but that's now come out obviously on the green rather than into any trouble. So nice little tip on that one if you're ever in this situation and you want to get the golf ball towards your designated target. Let's go and see if we can two putt from there. So this is where my golf ball has just finished. I've just um, strode it out and it's 12 strides to the hole from here. So what I want to do now, I'm actually just off the green. There's nothing, there's no reason why I can't use my putter. The putter is is definitely the my favorite cub from here if you're fab, fabulous at chipping by all means chip it but i'm going to put it because it's easier for me so my sole purpose from here is let's see how close i can get this to the hole um, the green looks like it slopes a little bit from right my right to my left uh, so i'm going to allow for that a little bit now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make some practice strokes and i'm going to make them actually looking at the target and the reason for that is I'm trying to judge how hard to hit the golf ball. So if I can see how far it is, that will give me an indication of how hard I need to hit the golf ball. Whereas if I'm stood over here trying to make a perfect putting stroke, I'm not necessarily judging distances. So I'm actually going to use my eyes to give me the feedback and the feel to see if I can judge the distance. Then I'll set up to the golf ball, one last look at the hole, back to the golf ball and I'm going to play my putt. So I'm going to make some practice putts looking at the hole. That feels about right. So I'm going to line my putter at where I want the ball to start, which is to the right of the hole. Still looking at my target. Back to the ball. And off I go. And that one's rolled out to about a foot. Uh, so I'm just going to go and finish that one off. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, let me know in the comments section below. And please, click on the thumbs up icon if you liked this video. Subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing the video also helps and don't forget to click on the notification button for this channel so you won't miss the next First 2T video.